And if you are a fan of really crunchy euros, I think this is definitely one that you'll want to check out. This one looks like a bit of a heavier game that's going to be offering you all sorts of different options to help you gain victory points. And this is a worker placement, hand management, and area control type game. And in this game, players are going to be starting with a hand of eight action cards, player board, electrical towers, transformers, wind farms, and bulldozers. In each round, you're going to be taking turns performing three actions from your action cards. And you're going to be playing those cards into a slot on your player board in order to activate them. But each slot on your player board is also associated with one or two regions on the map, which are outlined with different letters such as A, B, or C. And if the slot allows you to choose between two regions, you're going to be covering up one of those regions with your card, revealing the one that you want your card to affect. Depending on the card you play and where you play it into your player board, you might also have to pay a cost. But some cards can also be upgraded with different bonus tokens that you can play onto that card to augment it. And you can choose to play the card to the top or bottom of your board, but you always have to play your cards from left to right. And if you want to take all your cards back, that counts as an action. Or if there's nothing that you really want to do, you can also just pass, which will get you a extra battery. And after all players have had their turn, it's going to trigger the end of the round where each player is going to be able to take one card back from their tableau. And then you're also going to generate income depending on how you've performed so far and what you've been able to build out on the main board. And the main actions that these cards are going to offer is to allow players to place a wind farm on a location that has a bulldozer. And you can play it to a location with your own bulldozer. And in that case, you're going to be paying to the bank. But if you play to a location that has an opponent's bulldozer, then you're going to have to pay to them. So you do want to try and position your bulldozer in a location where you think other players might find them useful. Or instead you might be able to build an electrical tower and this works the same way. We're going to be building it at a bulldozer but these will also net you bonus tokens which you can use to augment your actions in the future. Some of the cards might also give you the opportunity to fulfill different contracts by spending energy or batteries to meet its conditions and other cards might gain you additional money by gaining investments. But where this game really gets crunchy is because almost every single thing you do has an effect whether you're placing a token or taking a token off your board because you're going to be able to take tokens off different locations in order to get bonuses or maybe if you take an entire row or an entire column or some sort of pattern that will also activate certain bonuses that you'll want to take advantage of at certain points in the game. And these little mini games will create all sorts of other opportunities that you won't have access to otherwise like even adding more action cards into your hand or gaining income milestones in the different income categories. And if this is a game that sounds interesting to you, there's definitely a lot more to dig into, so you'll want to check out the campaign, which I'll have linked in the description below.